Hi everyone, it's Phil from TeachBlend and in this video we're going to have a look at the specific AI tools within Kahoot that can help save you time. So from the Kahoot website you'll see now under Teacher Toolbar options that have the AI Assisted label. And I'm going to click Start Creating on the first one which is Topic. What you can also do on the left hand side is access any of the AI enabled Kahoot creators by just choosing the drop down. You'll see URL, PDF, Wikipedia. Let's use topic first. So what I can do is I can just write in any topic that I want to quiz my students on. But I teach staff, so I'm going to use that as an example. I'm going to put in AI and the impact of education. Again, this could be any topic you like. And then I'm going to choose generate. You'll see it's used AI to generate questions based upon the topic that I've entered and it does a great job of finding different question types as well. What you can also do is change the language to the right hand side, you can choose the skill level, the tone of voice and even the Kahoot length. So let's say I want 15 questions. I then just hit the refresh button and that will update the questions that I've got. I can choose add all or select individual questions and I can even remove these as well and choose done. From here then I'm able to use the general Kahoot creator and it's really saved me time with some of these questions. Of course I'll need to check some of these and modify them. Once done choose save and then from here you can preview, host live and share as usual. Let's have a look at some of the other options that are available to us. So I'm going to choose the arrow quests and then under teacher toolbar, this time I'm going to choose the Wikipedia one. And again, you can choose the left hand side to access these if it's quicker. From the search Wikipedia, what I'm going to do is enter in an article that I'm after on the Wikipedia page, such as artificial intelligence in education. And what I can do is then generate a Kahoot quiz based off that specific Wikipedia page. So that's really useful because it provides a really uh, narrow Kahoot question set that I can use with my students. And you'll see here that's all based on that one Kahoot, uh, that one Wikipedia page. I can also choose URL and that's a really good way of getting a specific website to create Kahoot's based on. So let's say I've got this news article here from the BBC. Again, it could be any website. I can copy that link and I can paste that into Kahoot and choose generate. What it will do now is it will actually generate questions based off that specific web page and you'll see really specific examples here and that's a real good way of getting a nice Kahoot based on an article or a website that you want to quiz students on. Then a final way is actually to use PDF. So you'll see here I've got an AI PDF and I can actually save that to my downloads or wherever folder I want to and I can upload that to Kahoot as well. That could be any PDF that you have generated. So for example, some questions, some information, an exam spec, etc. So I'm going to upload this now. And what I can do is just drag and drop that PDF directly into Kahoot to generate questions from. You'll see previews of the pages and you can even select the pages that you want to use uh, to generate questions from. Or you can just choose all like I've done. I can then choose generate. What this will do is it'll actually read the PDF and then generate key questions based upon that document. And this can save you so much time in generating questions, but also ensuring that the questions and content are specific to that one PDF. And again, you can then just use this like any other Kahoot. I hope you found this video useful. 